Red is deeply rooted in the human psyche. It conjures up conflicting emotions, from passionate love to danger and even violence. But six years ago, a group of scientists wanted to investigate what effect wearing red might have on us. We started speculating about the role that it might play in humans um, and whether the clothes that we wear could in some way manipulate uh, our dominance in competitive situations. Dr. Russell Hill wanted to find solid evidence about what effect red might be having, and it came from an unlikely source. From the Olympic sport, Taekwondo. The Olympics offered a perfect situation for this. Um, in the Olympics, in combat sports such as boxing and taekwondo and uh, in the two forms of wrestling, individuals are randomly assigned either red or blue to wear depending on their position in the draw. And of course, if red has no effect or colour has no effect on the outcome of sporting contests, then we'd expect to find an equal number of red and blue winners. When he studied the results of the bouts, he found that red and blue didn't win equally. What we actually found looking at the 2004 Olympics were that there were significantly more red winners than blue. And in these close contests, uh, red individuals won uh, nearly two-thirds of the bouts that we were uh, looking at in that particular study. So wearing red seemed to help people win in a competitive situation. But this on its own wasn't enough to convince him. So he dug more deeply. He came across an experiment by another group of scientists. It too was looking at whether colour affected the outcome of a taekwondo match. They took the video of the taekwondo and in the original video you had one fighter in blue and one fighter in red and they digitally manipulated that so that the original red fighter was fighting in blue and the original blue fighter was fighting in red. And when they showed this footage to taekwondo referees, in the, the original untouched footage, the red fighter was perceived to have scored more points. But in the manipulated film, it was again the red fighter who was judged to have more po points, even though in the original footage they'd been fighting in blue. Again, the judges tended to favor the player in red, whether or not they deserved it. So the color the athletes were wearing was enough to override the fundamental ability of the judges to give points.